What's up guys, we've got another tutorial for you, we've got another image sent in, so I'll be putting all of his links down in the description, so if you guys like his work, like his content, you can go give him a follow down there. So if we come down and look at his work, you can see there's quite a bit of vibrance and saturation, a decent amount of contrast, a very small fade to those blacks, clarity in there, and quite a lot of blues. So yeah we're gonna be working with this image right here so we're gonna jump into lightroom and see if we can create something like this here's our raw image and let's get into it so profile corrections come up here we will expose Good amount of contrast. And then just fine tune it. So I'm gonna bring up the shadows. As you can see, areas such as this, we've got much less shadows. So let's bring them up. Now that looks much more similar. Highlights. Um, pretty close. Bring the whites down. Because if you just look at our clouds, I think ours just look like they're popping a bit much. And then I'll bring the blacks down because we're going to add in a bit of a fade like this. So if we want a fade, we probably need to bring down the blacks a bit. Otherwise, we'll lose too much contrast. So we'll go... Actually, we'll just bump up the clarity quite a bit because it looks quite crisp. I don't know if you guys can tell that it makes it look a lot more similar. I describe clarity as like glassiness. And we'll put in vibrance. And vibrance does what it says it does. It's just it's gonna enhance those brighter colors a bit more those mid-tones and highlights and leave the shadows a bit more alone right so yeah that quite that gives a bit quite a bit more of a sunset look bringing up the vibrance there uh we'll go on to tone curve so we want a bit of a fade just in the shadows so okay so yeah put in that little fade there and then two dots here because you just want a bit of an anchor point to bring these shadows down a bit so so uh you don't just have a straight line from here all the way down to the blacks you want just pull those shadows down a little and that's what it does if you just look at the curves it's a nice fade in there okay so moving on to let's say split toning or we'll just quickly do hue before split toning so we are looking quite purple in the sky and down here and it's much much more teal over here so we'll just do our blues so aquas don't have much to do with it at all And 
and then we'll drop saturation. Now I can see a lot of blue in areas such as this down here. So I reckon there's been a, quite a bit of split toning done and some blues have been put in the shadows and probably the highlights as you can see there's quite a few yellows and reds naturally in those brighter areas and that means he has probably put blues on top of that as they're gone in those ones there. And I think we get a bit closer at getting these blues and the shadows like his. Um, might have to take down the saturation. Hmm. Might be right like that. We will touch up the rest of the colors here. So you can see there's quite a few oranges up here on him. And in the grasses there and they look much much more vibrant and saturated so let's deal with luminance first and bring them right up see how that goes saturation bring up the yellows as well And we'll just, there's much more oranges standing out in his one. Ours is looking quite yellow. Push the oranges a wee way. And the yellows. Um, saturation of the purples so maybe we do just take out all the purples and magentas because they don't appear to be in his uh, luminance we could maybe drop the luminance of the blues see what that does we just look a little bright up in the sky without it. The blues could look a little deeper. Okay, we will sharpen it quite a bit. Right, so we'll do some filters now. And I want to... We got the blues and the shadows right in the center of the image here, but not really down the bottom. We need more blues in the shadows. So I'm thinking the only way you can do that is by adding a filter for down here. And adding in... Some blues, flip it around. And I think you can tell like the whites of our water aren't popping enough and the, and the brighter areas on the rocks aren't popping enough. But we don't want to increase the highlights to the entire image otherwise our sky would look way too bright. So we'll just apply it to the filter down here. Let's bring up some highlights.
some whites. I think that looks better. And we want to add a bit of light coming in from the left. Go with a bit of exposure. And oh, we're affecting the outside of the circle at the moment, so invert. We only want to affect the inside. So if we go with, try some dehaze. See what that does. I like the look of that. And we just want to, to finish off, we just want to make our subject stand out a bit more. So I'm just going to brush over them. Just increase the contrast a bit. And I think our image looks a little, well, a lot sharper, ma mainly because this is a screenshot of Instagram. So, I mean, you could try dropping the clarity or, nah, I think the clarity is good. Maybe dropping the sharpness makes it a little more similar. But, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that one, guys. Here's our before and after. A lot of blues in those shadows. And quite a bit in the highlights. And I'll leave it there, guys. You guys can give them a follow down in the description. I always put everyone's links down there. So if you like their content, just head down there. You can always give them a follow down in the description. And check out the presets guys, I'm currently offering, offering you guys my complete collection, so a huge amount of value, check those out if you're liking this, these tutorials. And thanks for watching guys, let me know what you think down in the comments, comment who you want to see, and then I'll go have a look at their Instagram, ask them to send in a photo and hopefully do a tutorial on them. But yeah, leave a like, leave a comment, catch you in the next one, cheers.